question 56 of the Secunda Secunde. The topic for this lecture is uh, precepts relating to prudence. Uh, and I am Dr. Thibault. So we are in the last question of the uh, of the, um, the section of the cardinal virtue of prudence itself. And this is one of the shortest of the questions. It is only two articles long, and uh, as you notice within all of the sections that end with these cardinal virtues, the precepts uh, of the, the virtue uh, is in relation to uh, the Ten Commandments, the precepts being uh, the Decalogue of the Ten Commandments. So uh, rather short, <laughs> again. Uh, so the, the Decalogue, should the should prudence be included within a precept of the Decalogue is the question. Uh, now, the answer, uh, the contra argument is quite obvious in that if it was supposed to be in the Ten Commandments, then it would have been. <laughs> Who is St. Thomas uh, to say that uh, the Ten Commandments are incomplete and that they should have added a, an eleventh <laughs> commandment or removed one of the commandments and added in a new one? St. Thomas is not going to say that. Um, well, does it make any sense? Thou shalt be prudent. Uh, St. Thomas says, no, it's really not uh, a Ten Commandment uh, because it's not really aiming at a proper, it's not aiming at an end. Um, St. Thomas says, prudence is not about the end, but about the means, uh, the means to get to the end. Therefore, it is not a direct commandment. Uh, it does not have a thou shalt be prudent. However, all of the Ten Commandments uh, are aiming at an end. And the way in which you achieve that end is through prudence. <laughs> prudence is the means by which all of the commandments can be fulfilled. Therefore, prudence is in all of the Ten Commandments. Prudence is in every virtue. Um, prudence is the way in which virtues are fulfilled. Uh, they're the way that uh, they are a good action which brings about a good end. They're the way in which one fulfills the commandments. Therefore, prudence is in all of them. But it is not itself an individual, uh, an individual precept. It's not an individual Commandment. There is no thou shalt be prudent. You can't achieve any of the others without it. Now, how about the opposite? Uh, if, if most of the Ten Commandments are in the negative form, thou shalt not, uh, then when we say thou shalt not be imprudent, thou shalt not be negligent, thou shalt not be uh, guileless. Uh, one should not be fraudulent. Uh, one should not be cunning, right? It would we say that? And uh, St. Thomas says, uh, says, well, in two ways. Uh, oh, okay, that's better. Uh, in some ways, uh, we don't say, uh, thou shalt not, uh, and then you list these uh, vices attributed to imprudence. However, they are included in the Ten Commandments. Um, the, pre the precepts forbid the execution of craftiness insofar as this pertains to an injustice. So uh, remember uh, that uh, craftiness is the, the wrong action uh, to bring about an end, whether it's a good or bad end. So, when we act, uh, we should be thinking how to uh, say something bad, uh, use one's words in order to deceive or be fraught, to, to uh, bring about a, an end, even if it's intended to be good, uh, but it's it's a lie, right? It's an improper action. Uh, then that would be uh, uh, the sin. Uh, Guile. Now, if it's a bad deed, uh, then it would be either guile or fraud. Uh, fraud is only a deed. Guile can be either words or a deed. Um, but it is an action. Both guile and fraud are 
actions uh, and they are bad actions intended to bring about some type of uh, cause. So prudence is a good action to bring about a good end. This would be a corruption of action itself, being a bad action. So when we look at that, uh, are there any commandments that are against bad actions involving uh, deceiving words? Uh, yes, uh, not bear false witness against thy neighbor for one, uh, eighth commandment. That would be a violation uh, of word. Uh, how about any bad actions which are uh, which are a violation of the Ten Commandments that are deceitful. Um, thou shalt not steal, right? Since these virtues are also rooted in covetedness. Uh, 55 for that. Rooted in covetedness is a, an element of stealing, uh, of getting something fraudulent, fraudulently, if not honestly, getting it uh, in a covetous way. You want, you want that thing more than you want goodness itself. So um, both guile and fraud in terms of culminating another uh, colony is that uh, deadly of another uh, or of stealing his good. So both of these are found in the Ten Commandments. So you can't say, oh, uh, the vices of prudence aren't in the Ten Commandments. Well, there is no, uh, there is no commandment that says, Thou shalt not be guile, <laughs> one shall not be fraudulent, uh, but they are included within the larger con context of these uh, precepts. So the, the precepts are not interpreted narrowly, but broadly. And when you get into justice in the next uh, cardinal virtue and look at the, the precepts of uh, justice, this will be much more fleshed out uh, and uh, perhaps clearer in that section. But just as you see more that St. Thomas is really interpreting the Ten Commandments in the broadest sense, not in the narrowest sense, or fraud and guile are included. Uh, now, uh, that kind of cleverness, that cunningness uh, is not included in it According to St. Thomas, he just says not so much that element, but in the action itself. Although there is within justice a, a, an element of uh, covetedness, right? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's property, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. You're dealing with concupiscence and the proper ordering of desires. Therefore, that internal desire to have bad actions even before they have been acted out. The the covet the um, the concupiscence element of it is still is still there. So uh, Saint Thomas doesn't point that out, but I think even uh, that is included. So in conclusion, uh, prudence is not a individual precept within the Ten Commandments, but it is necessary for the fulfillment of all of the precepts because it is a necessary element. Uh, it is necessary for the means to carry out any of the virtues. So therefore, it's necessary but not specifically named. And also, uh, the vices of prudence are found within the precepts but aren't singularly named. So fraud and guile are not named. Imprudence isn't named, but they are, they are in there. They are in there under bigger bigger categories, primarily the seventh and eighth commandments. So this was a very short one, but uh, we have now concluded prudence and we are moving on to uh, justice, which is a very long section. So I hope you look forward to 